Past weeks of seeing intense horse trading and internal wranglings in the ranks of the People's Democratic Party PDP. We've also seen the emergence of five governors of the PDP who dissociated themselves from the Atiku Abubakar campaign, saying that they do not subscribe to the ongoings within the party. They have very fundamental complaints and grievances for that, which they hold there to themselves. And they've said they will come to the public and announce their position ahead of the 2023 presidential election. Tonight, we shall be speaking with one of the governors. They were in uh, Enugu State today to campaign for the, one of their counterparts, the governor of Enugu State. I have joining me from Lagos, Governor Sheyi Makinde, who is the executive governor of Oyo State. He joins me live on the program. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for joining me tonight on the program, and it's good to see you. Um, uh, let's begin uh, by, I mean, uh, I'd like to know, how is your campaign going? Uh, you're seeking re-election, and in the days of Beavers, one would think that uh, it's not an easy task, isn't it? Well, uh, thank you, uh, Sheung, for uh, having me on this uh, program. Um, well, I'm hearing some uh, echo, but maybe we'll solve it as, as it goes along. Oh, apologies for that. Uh, th th there must be some reverberation. Something is uh, um, howling back, but we'll correct that, uh, that uh, in a moment. But I, I don't know if you can hear me clear now. Um, uh, no, no, when you are talking, is, is, uh, uh, really to know it's fine. How your campaign is going. Uh, it's, not, it's not going to be an easy one to walk back into the government house of or your state, is it? Well, uh, Sheon, uh, my campaign is uh, going uh, pretty uh, well. Uh, we have uh, 33 local government uh, areas in our know, state. Uh, as of uh, uh, two days ago, we've uh, uh, completed uh, about 16, uh, 17 to go. Uh, out of the uh, five uh, major zones, uh, we are done with uh, Ogumashan zone. We're done with uh, Oyo zone, uh, Okiogun zone. Uh, out of uh, uh, 10 local governments in there, I think we've been to uh, about uh, four now. Ibadan zone, we've been to uh, about three out of the 11. And the, uh, 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 with the people, you can see the enthusiasm, you know. Uh, they want uh, a continuation you know, of this administration. Uh, all the things we promised uh, under uh, Omitutu uh, 1.0, uh, uh, we've uh, achieved uh, over 70, 75, turning towards 80 uh, percent uh, of those things that we promised the people. And they cannot just wait, you know, for uh, uh, for me to do 2.0, 2.0 uh, to, uh, to start. Okay, um, so uh, you are uh, up so against for me, really, uh, for me, for, tough, for, me opponents. for me, really, so those... for me, really, Shio, uh, um, beavers or no beavers, remember that in 2019, I... Uh, was faced uh, with a very tough election. Uh, PDP, as of that time, wasn't at the federal level, still not at the federal level, we were not at the state level, we were not at the local government level. The only elected PDP official, uh, by the time we were going to the polls in uh, 2019, uh, was uh, just uh, a, a one member out of 32 uh, 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 member assembly. So it couldn't have been tougher than that now. One of your biggest opponents the last time is back in the race, and you are going to be up against yet a very experienced uh, politician uh, in, in the form of uh, Senator Teslim Folare. Those are not 
easy opponents in this race. Things seem to have changed from the last time. Uh, for those who have criticized you in the opposition saying, there isn't anything Omitutu that we are saying. Omitutu actually means new water, literally, uh, is a Yoruba language, he said. So for those who have criticized to say, there is nothing that they have seen concrete on the ground as far as what Sheyi Makinde has done in Noyo State in the last four years or so, and they think that there is a chance for them to remove you from office and get into the government house in Noyo State. How tough do you think this will be? It's a tougher race compared to 2019, isn't it? Uh, well, I disagree, uh, Shem. Uh, I think uh, it is going to be a lot uh, easier because uh, if people are saying they haven't seen what uh, this administration has done in uh, just uh, this past uh, uh, almost uh, four years, they must be living in, uh, uh, in the sky or in the moon. Uh, we came in with uh, four major pillars. Uh, one, we said uh, we're going to fix our health uh, sector education sector, uh, we will expand our economy, and also we will look after security. Uh, education sector, one of the first decisions that I took as soon as we came in was to scrap the 3,000 Naira education levy uh, for our, our children because as of the time we came in, we Ohio State had close to 250,000 out of school children and those out of school children some of them uh, uh, were not able to go to school because uh, they couldn't afford the 3,000 naira education levy so we scrapped it and between then and now we've been able to get uh, uh, about 60,000 of them back into the classroom for us that is uh, major because those are our future we promise uh, on the uh, tertiary education side that uh, we will negotiate uh, with our Oshun State counterparts to get uh, Lautech back for Oyo State. And within two years of our coming in, we did that. Our, our, our students that uh, uh, were spending eight years for a four-year program, uh, uh, you know, is now a thing of the past. And Lautech at this moment is uh, our judge to be the best state university you know in nigeria by uh, 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 bodies uh, from inside the country and from outside the country we have uh, constructed about uh, 60 model schools 300 uh, classrooms uh, are still in that sector we noticed the gap uh, uh, in uh, uh, terms of the, the personnel. We employed 5,000 teachers and almost 700 edu education officers. So that sector, you can see visibly what uh, 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 we've done. If you go to the health sector, we came in and said, look, in every ward of your states, we must have a category three primary health care uh, facility. We have 351 wards in, uh, in uh, your states and over 200 going towards 250 of uh, those uh, facilities have been upgraded. We're keeping them right now. Just uh, uh, two days ago, I signed, actually yesterday, I signed uh, uh, an MOU with the French uh, uh, government. They've given us a facility, you know, to equip those uh, 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 primary health care centers. And again, uh, we didn't stop at that. We said people will not go beyond one kilometer radius of uh, uh, their uh, homes, you know, to uh, access a primary health care facility. When we came in, the health insurance uh, uh, scheme in Ohio State, we had uh, maybe about 45,000 uh, enrollees. Now we have over 300,000, you know, that uh, has enrolled in the, uh, uh, in the Ohio State uh, uh, health insurance uh, scheme. In terms of expansion of our economy through agribusiness, uh, we have a Fashala farm uh, settlement that has been turned into farm estate right now. And uh, uh, a lot of uh, subscribers in there. Big 
uh, businesses. Now, if we talk about infrastructure, we've built uh, several roads. I remember when uh, uh, a colleague of mine came to uh, uh, flag off a road project for me. Uh, the Isai Fakpote Obomasha Road. That's uh, uh, my colleague from uh, Kwara State. He said, look, she, this is a 76.8 kilometer road. That is supposed to be a federal government uh, project. And I said, no, we're doing it uh, 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 for the state because our concept you know, of uh, uh, linkages for uh, our state is to link all our zones. So we, uh, uh, we are linking Ogumasha zone to Okiogu zone, through that road. And you know what? The Brent uh, farm that uh, came into your stage in 2020, they are back on that, uh, around that uh, 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 road to set up uh, their sugar uh, plantation and uh, uh, factory. So even if you go in terms of uh, IGR, when we came in, uh, IGR for your state was about 1.7 billion. As of the last uh, count, November, it was uh, 3.8 billion for November of uh, 2022. So they're putting all this data together, and if people yeah. are saying, oh, we haven't done uh, anything in Oyo State, I think they need to come down to Oyo State. And in terms of uh, the fourth pillar is uh, security. We said uh, uh, we we're going to provide infrastructure, you know, for uh, our security uh, uh, agents to be able to do their work. We provided them with uh, uh, vehicles, with gadgets, with uh, communication. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, the icing on the cake for, for us was the uh, operationalization of uh, Amatekun. When the uh, Southwest uh, uh, governors came together and said, look, we uh, should uh, uh, you know, look at how we can collaborate amongst ourselves, because the, the, there are a lot of uh, 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 issues across the borders. And we came together, and Oyo State was uh, a signatory to that agreement. We operationalized it, and as of the last count, we have recruited and trained over uh, uh, about 2,000 uh, Amatekun uh, personnel uh, in uh, Oyo State. That is uh, more than all the other states in the southwest even put together. So, uh, no, no, Mike, they, I don't uh, so, think I mean, anyone no, in Oyo no, State I mean, can imagine, uh, uh, you know, Oyo State without Amatekun right now. And they mm. are cooperating so, no, I mean, with uh, just briefly because I have a long list of questions that I'd like to ask you. In the beginning, I mean, there was rivalry, but we've been able to uh, uh, look after that. Police, civil defense, DSS, even army. I mean, they have uh, 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 come together to carry out clearance operations. So uh, I, I believe we have done uh, well. And people may also say that, uh, oh, OK, uh, we pay salaries of uh, workers uh, on the 25th of every month. In the beginning, they said, oh, they cannot do it uh, for more than six months. Well. As of two days ago, we've done 44 months with uh, no break at all. We've paid a uh, uh, 13th month salary for four years in a row right now. And even last uh, December, we paid uh, the pensioners, we paid them 10,000 naira each, you know, as a, a Christmas a bonus for them to get turkey, get rice, to even be able to have uh, 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 something to celebrate. So I think uh, uh, we've done well. And remember also that uh, we've been tracking our performance since 2020. And if you go to my website, it's there, all specifics of what we've done and what we've been able to achieve. All right. So there are, there are a few issues here and there. Let's quickly pick them one after the other and quickly, too. Um, uh, I mean, during elections, a lot of things will come up. There will be debate about performance and what you can deliver. I would have loved to ask you, uh, even if you do not win this election, what would be the legacy you would have left behind? But let me look at some of the internal wranglings in your party, for example. 
you were in Enugu State to align with one, uh, your colleague governor from that state. And some of your colleagues within the G5 and Integrity Group have said, in the coming days, this we said in the past few weeks, that you will declare where you stand uh, in relation to the presidential election of 2023. Have you come to that point? Because at that rally where your colleagues came in Oyo State, you still said it that when it comes to the presidential election, you will let your supporters and your followers know where you will be going. Have you decided that? Where exactly are you going? <laughs> well, thank you, uh, Sean. You know, uh, one day is uh, a very long time in uh, politics. So uh, the election, the first election is uh, February uh, 25. Uh, that is still uh, uh, maybe f four weeks, a little short of four weeks uh, 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 away. Uh, the truth is, uh, we had issues and we brought those issues up we said look uh the constitution of the party uh, you know is very clear about rotation about zoning and uh, 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 i was the one that brought it up at uh, uh, neck section uh, 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 seven subsection 3C of PDP constitution is very clear. Uh, okay. A lot of people will say, oh, okay, we're doing all of this because uh, Governor Wiki did not win the, uh, uh, the presidential primaries. Uh, of course, uh, that is not the situation. The primaries uh, have been uh, uh, lost and won. It's clear. It's uh, uh, done dusted, a clear uh, candidate uh, has emerged, but uh, does it mean all the issues uh, that we've raised, which they've refused, the party has refused to address them up until now, do we sweep it uh, under the carpet? And these are very, uh, very fundamental issues. Uh, and uh, I must so say this also. As, 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 as a party, as a party, we are uh, treading a very dangerous path. Um, see, Sean, I will not um, say because I'm in PDP, then I should compromise my principles, you know. And that is what the integrity governors are saying. The G5, it's very clear. We're saying, look, if uh, sorry, this thing is echoing badly in my in my ear, but uh, let's see if it gets uh, better. But if uh, the uh, the party, if they say to us that uh, the constitution of the party, which uh, invariably says you must uh, zone and you must rotate the party positions, you know, if we've disregarded it. I mean, so look, you promise uh, uh, the national chairman himself was the one that, uh, 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 you know, uh, made that uh, comment that peradventure, if somebody from the uh, uh, northern uh, part of the country emerges as the, uh, 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 the presidential candidate, he will resign. But now you're saying, oh, the Constitution uh, must be followed. I mean, this is the Constitution that uh, we've uh, flagrantly uh, disregarded in the first instance. So we cannot keep picking and choosing, you know, what part of the Constitution we're going to uh, uh, obey and what part of the Constitution we're going to uh, disregard. They said almost uh, six months ago, that, oh, this is uh, 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 too close to an election, uh, you know, to start asking the uh, uh, national chairman to resign. But two, less than uh, how many days ago, they dissolved the uh, entire ESCO in uh, Kitty State. So that dissolution is not too close to uh, uh, an election. If I will uh, uh, tell you uh, precisely what is going on. The unity of this country is at stake. 
because when they said, look, rotate, let's there be inclusivity, uh, 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 get uh, party positions, you know, to zone it, rotate it, is because we know that uh, our federalism, you know, is uh, 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 has not uh, taken a, a serious uh, uh, route. So, to balance. Uh, to compensate for some of the uh, uh, things that uh, we don't have constitutionally right now, we said, look, rotate the positions, uh, uh, do zoning. Now we've uh, uh, disregarded that. And the other party, I must give kudos to uh, the governors on the uh, uh, platform of APC. I mean, uh, governors like uh, uh, Governor Nasir El Rufai, Governor Jigawa, uh, my Malabuni, um, uh, Governor uh, Kogi, they came together within their party and they said, look, for the unity of this country, let all of us, let us sacrifice uh, uh, you know, our ambition. Let the presidency rotate you know, uh, to the south. So we must give kudos to them. But what happened in our own party? We were fighting, you know, uh, uh, ourselves and saying, well, uh, uh, our constitution, you know, they can go to blazes. I don't think that is uh, right. And I'm not, uh, well, the integrity governors, we're not in this to say, look, we're trying to prove that uh, uh, we, we, we are right or wrong. We are standing on a principle. And uh, if you stand on a principle, whether you're right or you're wrong, I mean, that will be left for uh, posterity because all of this will come and go. In another four weeks, ele the election, you know, uh, uh, will have been uh, won and lost. And then uh, we'll be faced with uh, uh, the judgment of uh, posterity. Go Go Governor, Governor Makede, just a quick question. A quick question because I have another follow-up immediately. Now, are you working with another presidential candidate other than Atiku Abubakar? have been, uh, uh, you know, more concerned about me coming back, you know, than uh, talking about the uh, uh, presidential candidates, you know, uh, of another party. The bottom line uh, really is that uh, 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 asking for fairness, for justice, for equity, and pushing for unity of this country. I don't think uh, uh, that uh, can be regarded as, uh, you know, uh, 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 whether working for uh, the presidential candidate of another party or not. These are just uh, uh, principles, you know, that are so basic. No, but, 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 but if, Mr. Markey, if, if, if you party... and your colleagues have said as much, no, you, you and your colleagues uh, have said, uh, your colleagues, You've said as much that you will not campaign and you've pulled out from the campaign from the very start uh, of this campaign you've said you will not campaign for Atiku Abubakar and he was in your state I'm not sure you attended the rally of Atiku Abubakar in your state so there are those who are in the PDP who say that you have an alliance with other presidential candidates is it true and for us my next question would be then maybe the evidence that they have might be to follow up on the next question I have. Well, uh, uh, asking for certain basic things to be done by the party, and uh, if they've refused to do it, uh, what do you expect uh, us to do? Just carry on and say, well, okay, uh, uh, this is uh, 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 gone. Then go uh, uh, ahead and just uh, keep uh, uh, pushing around with uh, something that uh, 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 you're not sure is going to uh, uh, really uh, bring the people of Nigeria together. See, in Yoruba, they will always say that, Ajoje Odu, Obani, if we're saying, look, let's eat this thing together, uh, uh, or let's uh, work on this together, and uh, uh, there's no inclusivity, you know, uh, uh, how do you want to proceed? So I pulled out. The integrity, uh, uh, the G5 and the integrity group 
we were very clear. We said, look, if we don't resolve this uh, issue, uh, uh, I don't expect us to participate in the, uh, in the campaign, and we haven't. But I've not stopped anybody. If you like and you think, uh, uh, you know, uh, you're more PDP than myself, you're from my village, and you think uh, uh, this is the route you want to take, I am not stopping anybody. When uh, the, uh, 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 our candidate came to your state, I provided uh, logistics for them. I provided uh, 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 easy passage, security, you know, for the venue and uh, uh, everything that uh, they did for the campaign. And there, as the chief security uh, officer of, of the state, I will do that for other parties as well, you know, when, when, when they come. So I think people must, uh, uh, you know, come clear about what are these principles? Is the party right, you know, to sweep this under the uh, carpet? Something that is uh, as uh, 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 something that is, you know, really knocking at the uh, uh, the ground norm, the constitution of the party. Now, I, I think uh, uh, you cannot build something on uh, nothing, uh, really. So this is it. Um... A former minister of power and steel, um, Wale Oyelese, has said that your action is tantamount to treachery. That's how he described uh, what you have done. Um, and he says that the bottom line is that Makinde should... Let me just read uh, part of what he said. Uh, he said that you need to, before you can win the election, that you need to campaign for Atiku. How do you react to that kind of statement? Uh, Elder Yelesa is uh, older than me, and uh, I will not disrespect uh, him, but uh, uh, I think uh, he basically stood logic on its head. Uh, it is the other way around. If uh, our candidates will need to win in our state. I will have to campaign for him because PDP in our state is riding on uh, uh, the uh, records of uh, uh, the achievements, you know, uh, 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 that we've been able to uh, uh, make these uh, three plus uh, years. So um, if he's looking for a ministerial position or I don't think anyone will give him uh, any ministerial position anyway, because the last time uh, uh, he had the opportunity, he didn't do well at all. Uh, maybe they can give him uh, 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 a federal board, a federal appointment, but he needs to be objective. Let him go to his uh, Erumu town and tell the people. I was in Erumu uh, how many days uh, ago? and. Uh, 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 they wouldn't even touch him with a long pole. So you have uh, all of these uh, 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 so-called uh, expired uh, politicians, uh, uh, and then they go out there and say, oh, we've done this, we can't do this. Uh, I respect the opponents. I respect uh, uh, some of the challenges that we have to uh, uh, face you know, for this election. But we are realists. We're driven by data and logic. We've demonstrated it before. You remember uh, during uh, COVID, it was going to be uh, a total lockdown. I stood up at the uh, Economic Council meeting and said, look, well, I know people within all your states that uh, uh, whatever they will eat tomorrow will be from uh, what they've been able to do today. So. We got uh, the federal government to agree with us for a voluntary uh, lockdown. If you think your state needs to be locked down, lock them down. If you, need, if you think they need to ease, uh, 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 they need to ease uh, the lockdown, then uh, so be it. And a lot of people came to me and said uh, at that time that, look, most states uh, are turning their uh, 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 stadium you know, into isolation centers. And I said, well, for your state, we will go uh, to all our facilities. If you want to support us, help us upgrade those uh, facilities. Uh, 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 and now, 
uh, post COVID, those facilities were upgraded and were used. Excellency, them. So, yeah. So that yeah, that, that, is, that let's is wrap up based, this conversation. Is, yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, let's wrap no, up this that, conversation. That is, that, and I like it. Thirty seconds. Okay. Final final word from you, and the, the, okay. the final word will be in this respect. What do you think is a way out from these? Uh, I mean, you cannot be working at cross purposes with members of your political party. In 30 seconds, what is the way out? Well, the way out is, uh, you know, uh, we stand for uh, certain basic uh, uh, principles which should uh, engender unity for this country. And because uh, this country must be uh, uh, united, we have uh, so many other challenges, you know, that uh, uh, we are being faced, you know, uh, with as a country. Uh, from here, if our party uh, decides, you know, uh, that uh, they will play lip service to uh, inclusivity, to uh, unity of this country, then I wish them uh, good luck. That is the only thing uh, I can say at this uh, stage, because Nigerians right. in the final analysis will decide. Thank you so much, uh, Governor Shayi Makinde. It's a pleasure having you tonight on the program, and I wish you the very best in the election. Thank you indeed for your time tonight. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Shayi. And uh, uh, it's uh, an honor you know, to have me on your, uh, on your program. Thank <laughs> you.